Well, the communities of Tabor and Barnwell are doing everything that they can to help a family that lost everything in a house fire. Taylor Ocene reports. 24 hours after their house and everything inside went up in flames, the Wolf family had a home temporarily donated to them, along with blankets, clothes, shoes, and food. I've used the word lots of times already, unreal, unbelievable, how people all over come together. People that we don't even know, they're just coming over and showing support and love, and it's just very helpful. Last Thursday night, Susan Wolf was home alone with her three children, Shakela, Nalini, and Ian. Her husband, Frank, was out of town driving truck when he got the call. I do cattle hauling, had a load of cattle with me and I can't do nothing. I know the house is on fire and I don't know are the kids safe, are they not? Without any tenants insurance, the Wolf family would have to start rebuilding their lives on their own. But friends stepped in to help the moment they found out. She had nothing so I wanted to give her a few things to get her life started from scratch. Lena Fair started a clothing and bottle drive at Tabor Christian School for her friend, 11-year-old Shakela, and her family. First thought comes to mind, what can, where can we start um, to help this family to get back on their feet? Knowing that she's such a good friend, it's kind of hard to know that she lost all of that. Shakela has type 1 diabetes, and Lena says she was very worried about her classmate. She lost her meter that tells her... Um, like what, how high her sugar is and how low. It's pretty nice for them to do that because if I wouldn't have that, I wouldn't be able to control any of my sugar. Since Thursday night, donations have been pouring into the school and throughout the community. We have all sorts of organizations who want to donate, who have called, who have contacted us. More than $6,500 has been raised in cash and gift cards in support of the Wolf family. If you're interested in helping, there's many centers in Tabor and Barnwell that are accepting donations. And you can find more information on our CTV Lethbridge Facebook page. Taylor Osseen, CTV News, Barnwell. Okay, thank you, Taylor.